What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I've been dropping videos today and I forgot to uh, add uh, an announcement. Yesterday I was on King Delight's channel and we were talking about uh, children being protected, not only in the streets, but in the household. We were talking about these stories that I do sometimes on parental neglect mainly talking about the story of Kinsley Winsley, the little girl in Indianapolis that was starved to death by her own mother and uh, her grandmother and, ex and her boyfriend at that time had aided in such starvation. This little girl went through a lot of stuff and I covered her story. We did a follow up on King Delight's channel. Anybody that missed it, go over there by all means and take a look at it. I left the uh, video link in the description box. I like to thank a couple of my uh, subscribers as well as his subscribers, I would like to thank uh, Raheem. He came on there and was on the panel last night, and uh, he said a lot of good things, and he made a lot of sense. And uh, also, I'd like to thank Angel Mom for uh, her input, too. We do these stories, guys, and we have a panel where Anybody can come on the show as long as you're respectful and give your account of, you know, experience in certain topics that we talk about. And these folks, man, really came through last night and they said some very intelligent things and things that made us speak, you know, made us think. And along the lines of uh, dealing with topics. I'm going to bring up the topic of homelessness right now and uh, the mental illness. Can you imagine walking down the street? And a lot of y'all might have fell into this uh, type of scenario before where you're walking down the street minding your business and a homeless person is having some kind of psychotic fit in the middle of the sidewalk coming towards you or the way you're walking and you can't divert away from it. I mean, we've all seen people in the street violently acting crazy and doing all kinds of stuff like that. You know, um, what do you do? You know, they're not directed towards you, but sometimes it turns deadly or it turns, you know, just with, you know, anything can happen. Sometimes it does. And uh, that's the case, like in this story right here. This woman is in California, somewhere in L.A., shout out, walking down the street, minding her business. This guy goes into a psychotic episode and attacks her. Take a look at this. And uh, though it's not funny. This is a reality we'll see probably more than ever because with the way people are putting stuff in food and the way drugs are being tainted now as if they weren't already poisonous enough, you will see more and more people losing their mind and stuff like this has become a common occurrence if we don't get a hold of it quick. Take a look. Now to this disturbing story, a woman assaulted on the side of a busy Sherman Oaks street. Other women saying she's not the first one this happened to. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell live in Sherman Oaks tonight with more on what that woman is saying about her terrifying ordeal. Amy. Jory, it happened along this busy stretch of Ventura Boulevard near Van Nuys Boulevard. Two women assaulted on the same day in separate incidents. Now both victims are saying they hope someone will recognize a suspect and help police capture him. I feel like a victim. I feel victimized and violated. And it's just scary. She's recovering after being assaulted on the street by a stranger. But a Sherman Oaks woman says it will take time to heal the emotional wounds. The vicious attack captured on surveillance footage. It happened Thursday afternoon in front of Doja Sushi on Ventura Boulevard near Van Nuys Boulevard. The suspect is seen walking along the street, swinging his arms and making odd gestures. The victim is walking in the opposite direction when he attacks her. All of a sudden, I, something slammed me in the side of my head, and I obviously knew it was him. And I just, my glasses went flying into the street, and I really couldn't see anything. It was very sunny out, and um, he was standing there. Witnesses at the restaurant tried to follow the man, but he escaped. The victim filed a police report and posted the footage online, soon learning that another woman had been assaulted in the same area earlier in the day. That victim taking these photos of the suspect. 
both women believe they were attacked by the same man. And it was very early in the morning. She was getting out of her car, and as she got out, the guy grabbed her and threw her to the floor. She hit her head. She had a lot of bruises. She was pretty hurt, and he came out of nowhere, and there was no reason for him to do that. Both victims are hoping that someone will recognize the suspect and help police track him down. <laughs> really scared and just, I don't know, helpless, you know? I just um, don't want this to happen to anybody else. Right now, police have very little information about the suspect. Investigators describing him as a middle-aged white male around six feet tall. He was last seen wearing a hoodie. All right, guys, that's the story. And you can see that lady got that oops upside the head real quick, that, that molly wop action. Was she deserving of it? No, nah, she wasn't. But <laughs> it's not funny. One of the things that I can't get over was you see me making a fool. Why you keep walking up there past me? I don't want in the street or I don't want the other way. But I mean, sometimes you ain't got no choice but to go that way. But uh, she had a choice. She could have got the street in or where, you know, she said her glasses got knocked. She could have stepped out and got some distance between them. And it never fails. There are people out here that will see imminent danger and still walk to it. Hopefully the danger won't come to them. That man was arguing with himself. He ain't have a face to put in front of what he thought he saw. And when you got close enough, he attacked you. Now, I mean, should he have did that now? And the lady said, yeah, I, I feel victimized. And you were, but you, 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 you I, I don't, it doesn't resonate with me. Maybe she, she's used to seeing that. That's another thing. But it goes to show you, as people out here nowadays, we got to keep our heads on swivels and we have to just, Act as if, you know, you, you have to be cognizant of danger out here and, you know, be aware of your surroundings. Because this man hit her and then I give her credit. When her glasses came off, she grabbed that back. She was going to swing and do something. That's all she had. But come on, man. And then this is one of them crimes where you know somebody's crazy. And then when you calm down, they probably can't remember nothing. So it's like they don't even remember when you put your hands on them in retaliation. It's one of them things, man, where it's like it's a crime and you're a victim and you want justice. But the person, how, how can they be accountable if they didn't even know they did it to you? I mean, I think a lot of people out here better stop thinking that people are harmless when they have mental disabilities or just, you know, they're not yelling at me. That don't mean you, can, you can't turn into the hour of their aggression at any time. I don't give no chances to nobody. I'm in my 50s now, and I'm not as fast as I used to be. So my reactions might be a little slow. I ain't been in no conflict in a while, and I ain't trying to get into one and prove that uh, I still got it. But um, things happen. But uh, he hit her. People said they tried to find, uh, follow the guy, but lost, uh, lost him. I disagree with that neither. That fat ass dude that looked like a troll, look, he like a, he, he belong on the bridge. Ain't no way y'all lost that man. Y'all followed him a little bit and then didn't want to go so far from where you was at. So you turned around and went back. So all that, we lost him. That man ain't running fast enough to outrun anybody or dipping and dodging unless he went up under the bridge like the uh, nursery rhyme, Billy Goat's Gruff, and you were scared to go up under there. So stop it. But I mean... I don't know. The guy is big, uncoordinated, put his hands on the woman. Things are what they are. Now, police are still looking for this guy. He's a homeless dude, probably wearing the same clothes. He'll turn up somewhere. If he's mentally messed up like I think he is, he'll show back up at that same spot. I mean, it ain't too hard. That Homeless people, a lot of times, this how messed up aren't too hard to find because a lot of them are territorial and be around a certain area all the time where they feel comfortable. So, I mean, we'll see what it is, but people, we need to be careful out here. That guy probably get arrested and don't even know what the hell he arrested for. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Man, I don't want nothing to happen to anybody, man. And I, I just get on here and I talk a lot of stuff that I think is interesting or things that, you know, you guys would be interested in. If I could just get a few people to think and just be, you know, aware of their surroundings, you know, it might help somebody out in the long run.
I'll see you in the next video. Take care.